Hello y'all, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 mod review. In this video we are taking a look at Luxembourg Reich, a mod that takes place in a world where Luxembourg somehow won World War I. In terms of the world map, this mod includes a Luxembourg that took over Belgium and part of Northern France. It also leads a faction called the Luxembourg Alliance and it has the Netherlands as its puppet. As for other differences from our timeline, we have a big Austria, the Hungarian Republic is a thing, and the Croatian Empire dominates the Balkans with its leader, Grand Kaiser Zog, who I am pretty sure is Albanian. Oh, and before I forget, the Soviet Union does not exist in this world. Let's turn our attention back to the star of the show, Luxembourg, which does have a focus tree that has a branch for every ideology in Hearts of Iron 4. So what I'm gonna do is show you a possible outcome for each of the political branches in the tree. Starting with the democratic path, it may lead to Luxembourg trying to bring the majority of Europe under the control of one Republican state. Next is what you could call the anarchist slash communist ending. In this branch, Luxembourg will have no leader as its country leader. And besides that, it will invade France, Germany, and Russia, which leads to this huge communist state in Western Europe and in Russia, unsurprisingly. Moving on to the non-aligned monarchist path, if you complete every focus here, Luxembourg will revive the Holy Roman Empire under the leadership of the powerful, the one and only, King Doug. I saved the fascist branch for last, and what takes place is, no joke, not Hitler, takes over the country and either invites the German Reich to the Luxembourg Alliance or restores the Roman Empire. I have no words, honestly. This has been Luxembourg Reich. Check out the mod in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.